Hello my friends and my fellow automation engineers and welcome to the testing video for the 2019 sleeper challenge. So the challenge was uh, pretty simple, just make a regular boring looking car which looks absolutely as stock, uh, as stock as possible with of course great attention to details and I really wanted to add a, a little, I added a little spice to it, a little things you know to make the challenge more spicy and more difficult which is of course you need you you needed to use a real engine not just a custom engine that you can make in an automation game like in five minutes no i'm talking about a real replica of a real production engine and uh, a lot of you actually thought it was difficult but i'm happy to say that 40 cars did participate which was absolutely amazing unfortunately 12 cars got disqualified because uh, they have broken some of the rules or their engines, uh, when it, they weren't really up to the task. I mean, they have messed uh, with the rules or they, or they have, you know, made some mistakes with the engines. If you want to check out the disqualified list, it's in the description below uh, with, of course, the reason why that car was disqualified. I mean, better luck next time for, for those guys. But uh, we have 28 cars, which is a really good news. And of course, in this video, you will be seeing all these 28 cars being tested, not just the top 20 cars as you as usual but no i want to test all the all the 28 cars to see how those real engines actually uh you know are working in beam engine drive and to see i mean how they how will they perform as well because uh, this challenge i've asked from everyone not only to make a a four-door sedan or a pickup or an scv no no i left it open so a lot of, some of you guys sent some pickups, so some of you did some SUVs, we also have some coupes, some sedans, and uh, some hatchbacks, so who knows? I mean, we have some similar engines, you know, similar engines, in, in a, but in a different car, so we will be seeing that, all of that in a moment. Uh, enjoy the video as always, and tell me which one of those 28 cars do you actually like in the comment section below and why? Now, the testing will be very, very simple uh, because as we all know, the, the sleeper, a sleeper car is a stock boarding car with, with a powerful engine up front, which will dominate and beat every single supercar or even hypercar on the drag strip. And I want to keep the sleeper theme as authentic as possible. So I'm going to be testing all the cars on the drag strip. Yes, my friends, on the drag strip alone. Uh, and because that's the whole idea and that's the whole theme of a sleeper car because uh, as we always uh, as we all see on youtube saw so a lot of videos like uh, some tuned golfs or some tuned volvo wagons you know beating beating lamborghinis and ferraris and even paganis are, are on the drag strip you know with with just with no effort at all well we're using of course ls swap engines or whatever RB engines or whatever crazy engine that, that they are using. And I, I want to do absolutely the same thing. So, of course, the winner of this car will be the fastest car, which, will, of course, will, will, will get a copy of the Hollywood LS9 Super Sleeper, as you can see. And then after it, I'm going to be picking the prettiest car also, the prettiest car in this challenge that will, of course, uh, the creator of it will receive, uh, of course, another copy of the Hollywood LS9 Super Sedan to enjoy it in his Beam NG Drive. Now I'm gonna test all of them, but one of them will be picked also for the pretty car, for the pretty car prize, of course, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the fastest one and the prettiest one. So two prizes, of course. And the prize for the winner of this challenge will, will be, of course, the Hollywood LS9 Super, uh, of course, sleeper. This thing has a, this thing is from 1970s all the way. The chassis, the body, the, the suspension, the brakes, everything is from 1970, uh, except of course the engine and the gearbox the, and the differentials, of course. So yeah, uh, the, the winner of course will get a special copy of this car. So good luck to all. Enjoy the video and let's head to the track. And of course, I'm gonna be testing this car first, you know, like a benchmark. All right, here we go. All right, so we are on the track right now, as you can see, or on the drag strip. I'm gonna do two runs, one with uh, the engine alone, and one, of course, with nitrous oxide. You know, the one with the engine alone will be, of course, the benchmark, and the one with the nitrous will be, you know, something impossible to crack. Unless, of course, we have we we will be we will see some crazy cars. Who knows? Now let's go without nitrous. This is without nitrous.
11.8 seconds not bad not bad for a benchmark you know something for other cars to try and beat now let's use the nitrous and with nitrous we have 1000 horsepower without nitrous we have 700 i don't know and 20 something horsepower you know the famous latest the latest corvette car with the ls9 all right let's see now with nitrous Go nitrous in. Whoa, 10.3. Check out the difference in time 11.8, 10.3. What a massive difference, like a second and a half difference between nitrous and no nitrous. All right, so these two are like the benchmarks for other cars to try and crack or, you know, to try and beat. Now let's try let's start and test the cars in the alphabetical order you know starting numbers letters and go all the way from A to Z if, if there's a car in the Z all right here we go let's start with the first car all right now the first car that we have here it's called the 1967 armor cricket wagon that's the name of it this thing has let's see a, a four liter twin turbo v8 from mercedes-benz amg department producing 510 horsepower now the design of this thing as you can see looks um really good actually and this thing has scored uh, 306.8 total category points nice details look at that nice classic looks should be good and I, I forgot if this thing is all-wheel drive front-wheel drive as you can see, I'm guessing rear wheel drive. I, no, no, it's it's, for, it's all the drive. Huh, so this thing should be a, a monster. Here we go. Whoa, so softy suspension. I think sequential gearbox. Nice start. 11.3. Really nice. As you can see, the first car did actually beat the Hollywood ls9 ls9 thing uh, without nitrous because the hollywood weighs around i don't know three tons that that thing is a fully on american land yacht but this thing here this uh, wagon is really really nice 11.3 very 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 nice thing to start with awesome work my friend all right let's move on with the second car all right the next vehicle it's called the arrow cw mark one as you can see, it looks very, very boring and simple at the same time. You know, those like 1980s hatchback. But this thing packs a punch because this thing has scored 304.3 total category points from its Ferrari F154 CB uh, engine, which uh, which is producing 710 horsepower. Now, I forgot what, what, what does the CB means. Maybe it's maybe it's the car model, you know, the Ferrari car model. Maybe not. I forgot, but this thing has the F1. 54 engine with 710 horsepower that version of course and uh, that should actually be a monster on the drag strip as you can see the design is looking very very simple 1980s or yeah i think 80s hatchback as you can see very very boxy nothing special we have a, a rear differential and a front differential that means this thing will actually fly here we go Manual gearbox. Eleven point seven. Ah, not bad. Really nice. Very very nice. I, I I was I was expecting actually this thing to be faster because it's a light thing. It's, it's a hatchback. It's supposed to be light and seven hundred and ten horsepower, but. 11.7 maybe it can go faster if I, if I try again and again until i until i find the perfect launching spot but no i'm gonna only do a single run for each car so 11.7 for for the first time not bad at all here we go all right moving on with the next car then all right so the next vehicle it's called the Belarian 155 that's the name of it as you can see this thing looks absolutely breathtaking i mean i love the design of of this body in automation game looks very sick and look at the headlights the grills everything it looks like a, a beautiful looking alfa romeo which is absolutely amazing i love the looks of it and this thing actually i mean i'm not i'm not really sure if this is actually a sleeper or not because it looks like an alfa romeo and it has an alfa romeo engine under the hood this thing has the alfa romeo barrera uh, 3.2 liter v6 engine 
with a 260 horsepower only and 313.5 total category points. As, as, I've, as I've mentioned, this thing doesn't really say, look at me, I'm a sleeper. This thing actually looks stock, like Alfa Romeo stock. Absolutely stock. The looks, the engine, the noise, the performance, everything looks stock. I'm not, I'm not really sure if this thing actually is a sleeper or not. I mean, as you will see right now, the time, of course. Yep, front wheel drive. I mean, this thing will be amazing on the track, but drag racing, it's not bad really, but yeah, 13.8. Yeah, the slowest one so far, and I think this thing will be the slowest of the, of, of the bunch. 13.8, 260 horsepower. I mean, for a 260 horsepower, this, the, the, the number or the, you know, the time is pretty impressive, really. But uh, yeah, it's going to be the slowest one, I'm sure. All right. Very, very nice work. Um, I love this car so much. Sounds good. Looks good. And sh this thing should be driving good, actually, on the track. But on the drag strip, again, not really impressive. All right. Very, very good work, my friend. Let's move on. All right. The next vehicle, it's called the Bisa Silicon KT1. As you can see, looks absolutely tremendous, really. So this car here has scored 346 total category points, which is really high. And this, th this thing has a, uh, a Ford 7-liter V8 engine that you, can, that you can find in the Celine S7 Twin Turbo. A very, very, uh, very, very awesome American supercar, I think, or hypercar. I think supercar, which is producing 750 horsepower. That is actually very nice. I mean, the, that, that Celine, the Twin Turbo, is a monster, really. I remember driving it in Test Drive uh, Unlimited 1 and I think Test Drive Unlimited 2. I love that game and I miss it, really. Uh, and I remember driving that thing I mean, on that airport road, going backward and forward with that 750 horsepower engine going around 400 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that thing was a monster. And this thing has the same engine, so this thing should be a monster, too. So let's see. Sequential. Nice acceleration. Ooh, tens. 10.7. Whoa, 10.7. This thing is actually came very, very close from the Hollywood with nitrous. This thing comes very, very close from a from a 1,000 horsepower land yacht absolutely tremendous really 10.75 wow that's really sick. that's really amazing and look at the consistency of the number 10.750 exactly what a machine very very impressive so far the quickest car of the bunch all right so let's move on to the next car very very awesome work all right now this is a very unique vehicle because this vehicle here it's called the boulder bikini sport resto mode resto mod something that's the name of it as you can see it looks tremendous really looks like a very very hardcore off-roader with extremely wide tires i think the dude who made this car you know tuned it to be a track car he didn't think that i will be testing it on the drag strip but of course uh, using wide tires will, will also add traction so who knows maybe this thing will be a monster so this thing has uh, according to my book uh, where is it? Here we go. This thing has an, a Lamborghini L539 uh, V12 engine, the Gen 2 engine, with uh, 757 horsepower, scoring, of course, 308 to total category points. This thing should be a monster, really. So let's see. Let's see, really. I want to see. Oh. Whoa, what a machine. 10.8. Whoa, this is actually a very impressive thing. It, it runs tens and it's an SUV. This is a real sleeper. Can you imagine an SUV flying on the drag strip with 10.8 seconds? That is actually very nice. And that's the name of it. I'm not kidding. It's called Bikini. I'm not kidding. Boulder Bikini Sport Resto Mod Lambo Swap. That's the name of it. Very awesome work really sounds and perform like a sleeper and it's scary really it's not really what you call stable in a straight line keeps on dancing so yeah it's a sleeper all right let's move on okay the next vehicle is called the Cent centuria something like this crusade uh which is 
a very very unique name this thing has a 5.2 liter voodoo v8 from the of course the legendary shelby gt350 uh you know mustang which is absolutely crazy this thing is producing 526 horsepower and this thing uh, got 333.7 total category points now the looks of it as you can see i don't know the, the guy who made this car told me it looks like i don't know an, a ford expedition something like this maybe maybe it's it's somehow you know close to it in some corners some some corners are maybe not but i'm impressed it looks like a typical family suv you know off-road thing which is uh you know boring and comfortable and very very thirsty when it comes to fuel and he swapped the engine with of course the legendary the legendary of course the voodoo 5 5.2 engine so let's see how this thing will actually perform oops so Sorry, I have to try again. I was turning turning off the traction control because I use my mouse. Some of you will say use the keyboard, but the keyboard is far away from me. I'm using a controller. I, I apologize. All right, let's try again. Ooh, spinning the tires. Not bad. Wow, not bad. Twelve point five. Not bad, really. I mean, it's not the fastest thing here, but 12.5 for a heavy SUV with many, many seats and comfy suspension and really regular looking car and regular tires and regular everything. 12.5 is really nice. Really, really nice. I'm a very, very nice thing really to do. So basically, it will be reliable and you can still use this SUV to take the kids to school, go grocery shopping and use it even, on, even off the road. So it's pretty reliable and practical too very very awesome work and you can go to the, to the drag strip and do 12 seconds runs that's very awesome all right moving on with the next car all right my friends the next car it's called the churchill leatherman super sport as you can see it looks very very modern and actually i love the looks of it very very modern very very nice details i mean it looks purely modern and elegant at the same time which you know a typical family should purchase really awesome so this churchill leatherman thing uh, has a uh, a tvr speed six inline six engine up front yep the line six uh, 406 horsepower and 239.7 total category points so the total category points is not really what you call impressive but the looks of the car and the engine are really really unique so let's see Bogs down manual gearbox not bad it's quick 12.6 ah 12.6 not bad at all for a 400 horsepower uh you know mini suv thing which is really really awesome impressive i mean that that thing with the the voodoo that we have seen before this car because of course that thing is producing 500 and something horsepower this thing is only 406 horsepower i mean only only 1.1 of a second difference that's it that's really impressive i'm very very impressive impressed actually so nice work nice work mr churchill all right let's move on with the next vehicle all right my friends it's cookie time it's cookie time indeed because this is the cookie monster lada um honkler that's how he called it look at it it looks absolutely tremendous he he actually made this thing to look like a beater car you know a car that you know the driver of it you know we don't care about how this thing looks how this thing will drive as long as the engine is keep you know keeps on running so what he did is he made the bumper to look like you know it's, it's like you know if it's broken and the hood is like if it's if it's rusted i think and there are like some missing bits on the side and you know some missing bits back there i mean he made it to look absolutely like a, a true beater car and i i mean I'm, i know that some of you will say lada is an ugly car it's boxy it's really really boxy and i've seen videos on youtube people actually you know engine swapping them with you know rb engines sr engines even v8s v12s on some videos and they're actually not bad on the track they actually look tremendous but Mr. Cookie Monster, he actually made it to look like, you know, a, a beater car. Look, look at look at the two badge here on the side, the, the 1200. Look at the two. It's like, you know, it's like it's it's falling off. So 
I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. No one actually, no one actually ever made a car, you know, for any challenge with, you know, falling out or for, you know, falling bits. So this is a, a new thing. All right. So this cookie thing has a, a, an Audi RS3 engine again with 394 horsepower and 292.1 total category points. So let's see. And it's four by four. Yeah, it's four by four. Look at that, we have high range, low range. Oh, what a unique idea. 12.9, huh, not bad, not bad really, 12.9. I was expecting it to be a little bit faster, but uh, for a 4x4 heavy ladder with an Audi RS, uh, RS what, RS3 engine up front, not bad, not bad at all. And you can say it's a sleeper. I mean, you have to convince people with that, but you can say it's a sleeper. Good work, good work. Enough with the cookies, now let's move on. All right, the next vehicle, it's called the Devel Victorious LTD. And uh, this thing has scored 323 total category points from its, of course, Lamborghini Huracan uh, LP580. That's the engine name. And of course, the engine is making 580 horsepower now i love the design of this car because uh, this thing it's called the ltd and as we all know the ltd is the grandfather or, or of course the grandmother of my daily driving car which is of course the crown victoria the ltd is the grand mummy of my car which is really impressive uh, i've never driven one but i've seen many many on the streets here i mean these days are disappearing i mean you can't really see anyone any days except in junkyards and or crushed or rusted away but uh, generally i mean this is the grandmother for my car or the granddaddy or whatever you want to call it so i'm impressed to see a, a, a close thing to it in automation game really impressive so as i've mentioned lamborghini engine lamborghini huracan let's see let's see how this thing will perform Ooh, sounds amazing long gears Well, seconds exactly. What a unique number. I've never, ever, ever scored this unique number in the whole of my life. 12 seconds. So, yes, this thing can actually go into the 11.9 if I was, you know, a little bit careful, you know, because this thing actually spun its tires. So, if I was a little bit careful with the launch, yes, I can actually go into the 11.9. But check out this unique numbers 12 exactly. No more, no less absolutely tremendous nice engine nice noise and nice acceleration too and amazing looking uh, body design very 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 awesome good work my friend indeed all right let's move on with the next vehicle all right my friends the next car it's called the falcon the falcon the falcon sweeper yes my friends the falcon sweeper this thing has scored 295.1 uh, total category points from its uh a Chevrolet LS3 engine, uh, which is of course a replica of uh, a video that I made lately on my channel, which you can find it uh, over here. You can press the circle here and of course watch the video if you want to, you know, make an LS3 in your game to use in your cars. So hit this guy here, create a replica of uh, the same video that I made, which is absolutely tremendous. 420 and 26 horsepower. Very, very awesome, very nice engine indeed. Torquey, simple, elegant, reliable. Sounds good too. So let's see how this LS3 engine will do. Oh, we have... Oops, sorry. Sorry, I'm not gonna start. I need to lock these to, you know, to make it perfect. Here we go. Whoa. For a moment, this thing was about to do a wheelie. Twelve point two. Look at the soft. Look at the softy suspension. Twelve point two exactly. What a thing! This thing did, did did a little wheelie because of the because of the suspension. You know, softness, which is really awesome. But of course, when you try to use the brakes, it will it will jump on its face like like of course a stopping rabbit, which is really unique and weird at the same time. But in general, nice effort. The engine works. The car is somehow quick although it's really weird, but uh, using those locking differentials are not really impressive. We're not really impressed with using those, 
even even on the, on the track i'm not really impressed with those but in general nice creation right really nice all right let's move on with the next vehicle then all right my friends the next car it's called uh, the jest jester i think uh, sr4 tt that's the name of it this thing has an audi s uh, rs4 v6 twin turbo and this thing has scored 322.7 total category points with 380 horsepower now the design of it as you can see is also very very awesome i love the looks of it i love the uh, the taillights headlights looks elegant simple nothing really to mess around with awesome really awesome nice details nice color everything is looking decent here we go Thirteen point seven five. Wow. So this thing was very very close to get to the lowest bit of the um, of the list. I was expecting this to be in the twelves, not not on the not on the thirteens. Wow, that's actually uh, unique and slow at the same time. I apologize, but the thirteen seconds is not really what you call a sleeper. It's in the normal range, really normal production car range. Yeah. I mean, the engine seems in this car in particular, in this body and the end, this this much horsepower output seems stock. Really, it's not really what he calls sleeper. And when you go 13.7, people would actually laugh at you for calling it a sleeper. But that's what we got. So I mean, nice work, but you need more horsepower, my friend. You need more power to call it a sleeper. You need to go into the 12s to call it a real sleeper. All right, let's move on. All right, my friends, the next vehicle, it's called the Asami. Asami, yeah, silver, that's the name of it. This thing has scored uh, 257 total category points using a Ferrari F120 uh, V8 engine, twin turbo V8, uh, with the US spec of it. Uh, of course, you can find this engine in the, for, in the legendary Ferrari F40 in the US version, uh, which is producing 476 horsepower in the US version now the looks of this car I mean to be a completely honest with you I love the looks of the of this car looks amazing and looks JDM Japanese I mean 100% the front the lines the pop-up headlights the the side the badging every everything is looking very 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 Japanese everything absolutely tremendous and putting a Ferrari engine a Ferrari F40 engine under the hood that's even a like a bonus so let's see oh traction control off oops i need to try again here we go whoa rear suspension took a big hit acceleration is like a monster really whoa 10.9 now this is a sleeper this is what I call a sleeper. It will run tens. That is amazing, really. You know, a car that looks boring, Japanese, you know, 90s, 90s sports car with like 150 horsepower inline four engine. And then, you know, it will just fly and do 10.9 with a Ferrari uh, twin turbo V8 under the hood. That's really awesome. Very, very awesome work. I love the design. I love the engine. I love everything about this car. Awesome let's move on okay so the next vehicle is called what the the the, the lotusia bedrock crew cab you know pickup obviously so uh, this thing has scored uh, 295.9 total category points using a 2008 2ur gse engine uh, which you can find it in i don't know a lexus a toyota something like this producing 416 horsepower impressive the car as you can see or the, the vehicle looks like a typical you know um pickup truck that that love to go off-road look at that four by four the amazing off-road uh, you know uh, fixtures they have a tow hook everything is looking uh, off-roady off and a beast look at that side exhausts impressive sounds good all right let's see oh we need to lock everything here we go Nice acceleration, smooth acceleration, really. Twenty-eight 
12.6 not bad really not bad for a heavy pickup truck and only 400 and i don't know 16 horsepower i mean the engine is really really good a very very nice engine in automation game and in real life uh, but of course this car is not light at all it's heavy it's a crew cab thing with you know seats and heavy chassis heavy steel chassis i think or heavy i don't know ladder chassis or something like this but it's impressive 12.6 not bad at all for a 400 horsepower engine all right let's move on all right my friends now the next vehicle it's called the Luxmate. the Luxmate deliverer that's the name of it uh, of course it's a, it's a van obviously uh, so this thing has scored 263.2 total category points uh, from a from a mercedes-benz m159 engine under the hood uh, making 623 horsepower now as you can see the design of it is just a pure simple basic van which looks like an you know, afford transit at some points but uh, looks very very basic basic looks basic fixtures even basic rims everything is just pure basic and that's what that that's what makes this thing really really special and it's the best car for you know the, or the best vehicle for deliveries you will see why wow soft suspension well 11.9 Huh. So 11.9 and I nearly missed a shift or I need yes I nearly missed a shift you know from first to second because this thing jumped and hooked in a weird way and I nearly missed second but uh, it still runs 11s so you, you can go again you know with a clear with a cleaner run it can do like 11.7 maybe or 11.8 so it's a, it's a very very fast van, van it will run 11s awesome very nice work my friend. Look at that, it says it used, it used to have 1.6 liter turbo, the, the stock version. Wow. Moving on. All right, my friends. Now, the next vehicle, it's called the Mazda. Yes, I'm not kidding. Mazda B uh, 2600. That's the name of it. I think I know this pickup truck. When I was growing up, I think I actually uh, I've been a passenger in similar, uh, a similar Mazda pickup when I was growing up, you know, when I was little uh, in Damascus, Syria. Yeah, I remember that. One of, uh, one of my, uh, I don't know, siblings ha had one. Anyway, so uh, this thing has, uh, let's say, 300, uh, 300 total category points, which is really impressive. And as you can hear, yep, as you can hear, this thing has a 1LR-GUE, one, one which is, of course, the legendary V10 engine, which you can find in the Lexus LF, uh, LFA, uh, which is producing 551 horsepower. So that's a very, very awesome engine to use. And it's basically a, a very, very cheap, reliable, normal pickup, which you can, you know, purchase second hand, you know, for, a, I don't know, $500. And then you can stick an engine in it that costs, I don't know, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. That's very, very awesome. So let's see. Let's see how this thing will actually perform. Ooh. Wow. Whoa, eleven point three. That's impressive. I mean you can you can call it fourth place. So it's really awesome. I mean I, I know it says fifth here, but ignore the the nitrous one. So yeah, you can say fourth place. That's really awesome. Not bad at all. Lex Lexus LFA engine normal pickup which is really impressive also 11.3 what a nice combination very awesome work let's move on all right my friends so the next vehicle as you can see obviously from the rear taillights of course some of you will some of you will say it's obvious and some of you will not as you can see check out the front i mean it's obviously uh, something really really close to a mazda mx5 or a miata as they call it and he actually called it an na Miata. He actually called it that. Called the car like that. So uh, this NA Miata, Miata has scored 350.8 total category points, and this thing is running. <clears throat> I'm not kidding. A an 8.4 liter Dodge Viper V10 engine, a modern one with 600 horsepower. Yes, my friends, a massive, heavy engine up front, 
which it with 600 horsepower in a tiny um you, you can say lightweight car ish and as you can see 350.8 total category points that means this car actually is a nice car in the automation game it's comfortable it's drivable it's sporty it's safe so it's a perfect car with a very very unique engine yeah all right so let's see how this thing will actually perform Nice accelerations. Let's pump the tires really hard. 11.6? Huh. 11.6? I mean, I can go faster. I like 11.5, maybe 11.4, but you know, no more than that. So it's 11. It's a, if this thing can run 11s, as you can see, many, many cars will do 11s in this challenge. Some did 10s some did 12s and more but you know the the average the average car did 11s which is really really awesome same as this car so it's an it's an average sleeper 11 car sleeper very very awesome moving on all right my friends the next car or the next vehicle it's called the, the, the nohai kai charon that's the name of it uh, this thing has scored 330.2 total category points using of course a ford uh the legend the, the legendary aussie Ford Barra 325T with, of course, 436 horsepower. Now, uh, using a Ford Barra is a very, very nice thing. The, those engines are legendary for tuners. Uh, you can push them to a very, very area with, with tons of mods and tons of things to push around a thousand horsepower or even more. But uh, we are not here to do that. We're here to use it as, as, as in, you know, in, in its stock form. So look at the design of this vehicle. It's a typical, you know, look at the look at me, American, you know, those MPV vans things from the 90s, which is really unique. Look at the rims. I mean, to be completely honest with you, those rims are big. Uh, I mean, they, I think those things came like in 15s or 16 inches with very, very fat tires. This guy here made them a little bit bigger than usual, which they look not bad, really. I, I love the design of this car very very 90s yeah very very typical 90s for these things all right so let's see how this engine will actually you know run sequential for bara again 11.8 again the average number for a sleeper car 11 seconds 11.8 as you can see we have starting from 11.3 all the way to 11.9 impressive very very nice that for, i mean this thing this barra engine is making only 436 horsepower and only 436 and this thing can do 11.8 oh very very awesome and remember this is a van or this is a people mover not really a light car all right my friends the next car is called the the odysseus uh, yeah, I, I think something like this. I think seven. I think uh, this thing has a an F one hundred and twenty A, which is of course a twin turbo V eight engine, which you can find in the Ferrari F forty. But this is not this is not the US version. This is the regular version with four hundred and seventy one horsepower. So this thing has scored three hundred and nine point two total category points, and as you can see, it looks pretty simple. Simple front bumper, simple headlights, which they look nice actually. And look at that grills, sunroof, very, 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 very basic car. So it's not bad. It's this thing will, I mean, this thing will not get disqualified for being basic because it has all the necessary bits to call it a, a normal car, which is really impressive. All right, let's 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 test. Very smoky star. As you can see so far, this thing runs really, really nice. Again, 11.9. Wow. The average number, 11. 11.9, as you can see. He called it the Odysseus. Um, I don't know. If if I has something like this 7 modded version or, you know, the sleeper version, which is really, really nice. Not bad. Again, the mod, the average number, 11.9. Good. Let's move on. All right, my friends. The next vehicle is called the the. Padilla, Padilla's uh, ellipse, ellipse. That's the name of it. 
this thing has a, a Ferrari F140 yes F140 uh, from the of course the Ferrari 8 812 super fast uh, which of course is producing 788.1 um, horsepower I don't know what's the, what, why the point one but 78 788 horsepower and uh, this thing got 332.4 total category points anyway the car as you can see looks tremendous really looks very very elegant i mean the rims are too big to be completely honest with you very very big wheels which looks like you know a, a hot wheels car really not not like a real car sounds really good it looks very very unique and awesome so let's see how this ferrari super fast engine will do wow Wow, that is a sleeper. As you can see, 11.018. This thing can actually do tens. If I can go again right now and you know ease, ease up a little bit on the throttle when I was launching it, yes, it can go 10.9. So this thing can actually do tens. Yeah, this thing can do tens easily. So yeah, a very, 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 very brutally fast car. Very, very nice work indeed, my friend. Awesome. Moving on. All right, my friends, so the next car is called the Raiden Usari SRI. That, yeah, that's the name of it. This thing has scored the 343.1 total category points using a basic Porsche Boxer 6 uh, engine, which, which you can find in the basic 911, uh, which, which is producing 468 horsepower. Now, as you can see, the design of it is looking um, really not bad at all. Uh, it looks very, very simple. You know, 90s uh, two-door coupe with its special bits as you can see square tail lights Porsche engine under the hood seems good all right let's uh, test it not bad really acceleration is good look at the side mirror one is straight the other one is destroyed 11.7 the average number wow 11 everything is doing 11 that is absolutely tremendous, really. A very, very basic and nice, balanced, smooth Boxer 6 engine from Porsche, making 400 and something horsepower. Not bad, really nice. Awesome, let's move on. All right, my friends, the next vehicle, it's called the Sanbonia CS. That's the name of it. This thing has, uh, has scored 325 uh, total category points. Uh, using, of course, again, uh, a 1LR-GUE, which is of course the Lexus V10 from the Lexus LFA, uh, producing 542 horsepower. Again, we have, we have seen this engine before and now this is another uh, another creator that you know used it. As you can see, the car looks, uh, I'm not going to say S2000 because no, it's not. But in some, some corners up front, it's somehow, somehow-ish similar. The side is very, very unique. It's still a two-door coupe with its special, as you can see, badging. And uh, everything is looking very, very special. The rims are not really impressive, impressed, you know, impressive, but who knows? Maybe this thing will fly, actually. So it's actually quicker than before so the previous run we did because i misshifted i did 12.1 now this one is 12.0 i don't i don't know i'm not really sure this thing can actually go into the 11s i'm not really sure but if it can do it it's gonna be impressive but you know myself i don't i really don't think i can get it to the 11s i think this is how this thing will actually finish at so it's not bad really. Again, the legendary Lexus LFA, but I think this car is a little bit heavier than the previous LFA swapped thing. And that's why it's in the 12s. But very nice creation. It sounds really good, shifts really nice. Let's move on. All right, my friends, the next vehicle is called the VC Labs uh, Chucky by CXG. That's how he called it. So this thing has scored 320.4 total category points using a BMW S85 B50 
yeah that's that's the that's the engine that's the name of the engine that they have chosen uh, i forgot to write the horsepower on my book so i'm gonna assume this thing is producing uh, around 500 ish horsepower so i'm gonna say 500 horsepower engine in a, in a hatchback which is really impressive so the car looks as you can see it looks very basic a uh, really basic hatchback as you can see the basic rims the basic looks the basic fixtures but it's good it's not, i'm gonna i'm not gonna say it's I'm not, it's not really that bad but it's basic and i like it looking good and keeps on the basic hatchback theme so let's see how this bmw engine will actually perform not bad Twelve point one. Twelve point one. I mean, for a five hundred horsepower engine, it's not really that bad. But I was expecting it to be quicker. You know, elevens because it's a hatchback, it's supposed to be you know light, not really that heavy. With of course a five hundred horsepower engine, but apparently it, it runs twelves or twelve point one. Nice work. Nice work indeed. Let's move on. All right, my friends. So the next vehicle, it's called the Vitesse uh, Agusta. That's the name of it. Uh, this thing ha has scored uh, 302.1 total category points uh, from its Nissan VR38 DETT engine, which you can, of course, find in the legendary R35 GTR, which is, of course, a twin turbocharged V6. Now, uh, this engine is producing 567 horsepower according to his specs in automation game, uh, which is uh, awesome. Look at that, the car looks uh, like a normal, boring, you know, daily driving family wagon. I like it, except for the teeny tiny details. The wheels, uh, the wheels are very, very small for this car. I mean, look at it. I mean, the, the wheels look like they look like they've, they've been, they have been stolen from another car. I mean, they don't really belong. On this big long station wagon really look at those wheels are very very tiny they don't, they don't really call perfect for this car but who knows who knows how this the Nissan engine will actually perform That is a heavy, heavy wagon. Unfortunately, I think if I can, if I can go again, I can do like thirteen point one, maybe thirteen point two oh. But I mean, I, I really, I really don't think this thing can go into the twelves. I really don't think that. If it can, it will be a miracle. But in my mind, I think this thing can't go into the twelves. Twelves, you know. But in general, nice things. It's not really bad at all. I was expecting this engine to be much, much faster than this. But unfortunately, the wagon is a heavy car. Has a, a fully on seats, entertainment systems, and all that crap nonsense. And all that nonsense, that's why it's a heavy beast. All right, let's move on with the next car. So this car, it's called the Uber Uber. That's the name of it. Uh, this thing has... Uh, this thing has an LS4 engine, you know, Chevrolet LS4 engine, a V8 one, uh, with 303 horsepower. So it's it's a nice engine. It's a nice, not bad, not, not a bad engine at all. In a tiny hatchback, which I don't know, I I think it looks like a Golf, a 1980s Golf, I think, ish in some corners, but it's not bad, not bad at all. So let's see how this LS uh, LS4 engine will perform. Sequential gearbox. Thirteen point eight. Huh. Is it the last one? No, no. The uh, the two hundred and sixty horsepower Belarian is still in the last place, unfortunately. So yeah, as you can see, the cars are done. Now I want to show you. The two cars that I think that they are the prettiest cars in this whole challenge because of their because of their amazing attention to details. All right, let's move on to those two cars. All right, my friends. So this is the first vehicle that I want to show you. This thing it's called the Mac M10, 
which is of course a, a beautiful looking i don't know 50s maybe 60s van or people mover which looks absolutely magnificent look at look at the front look how they may look at the, look at those amazing details the lines the uh, the headlights everything is looking very very stylish and beautiful really, really awesome look at the beautiful exhaust also the rims it's it's like a Westel mod you know a, a classic car with modern touch-ups look at those beautiful tail lights the numbers the badging real beautiful amazing amazing attention to this look look at look at the van look, look at look at the logo Lamborghini M10 because this thing has uh, the legendary the legendary mark 1 Lamborghini V10 the 5 liter V10 with 520 horsepower and of course 258.1 total category points now this thing is just the money look at it it's the best van or the best people mover you can ever want Lamborghini heart beautiful 60s design modern fixtures like the rims the headlights everything is looking beautiful what more do you want absolutely amazing perfect recipe wow this thing jumped nice very very long gears Thirteen point seven, and i really don't care if this thing is actually not that fast because it looks amazing I mean, uh, this thing, you really want to buy one like that. If there's a company that sells vans like that, I would definitely purchase one because it's the beauties of the 60s and like Italian heart, modern fixtures, reliability, and it's fast. I mean, 13.7, it's not slow at all. I mean, it's not really what you call a sleeper, but it's a fast vehicle. It's a really fast vehicle on the drag strip. Really. And it will surprise everyone. People will look at this thing will think oh look at that look at that fool on the drag strip with it with its 40 horsepower you know inline four carbureted engine and when he floor it and fly with a v10 smoking start it, it, everyone will be in shock and that's what i really love about this van so my friends i've sh I've, so I've shown you the first car now i'm going to be showing you of course the second prettiest car right now all right, so this is the second prettiest car that I'm going to be showing you. Don't forget to vote the Mark 10 or this thing here because this thing is called the the Myzeed Crooks. As we all know, the Myzeed name is, is not a new name to automation game. This guy knows what he's doing. The attention to details, the designs of his cars are always breathtaking. He made some SUVs, some classics, some amazing pickups, everything. He made the bunch with absolutely crazy attention to details. I mean, look at the headlights. Look at the headlights. Look at the vents, the badging. Everything is looking beautiful. The side, I mean, just look at that. I mean, I, I know that the body is based on a Hyundai Elantra. I don't know what, what what do they call the model in in other countries, but here in Saudi Arabia they call it Hyundai Elantra. The the, the window frames, the door the doors, everything Hyundai. Absolutely, I'm sure of that. But this guy, the Myzeed creator, he made sure that this car will be remembered as the Crooks, not the Elantra, because of this amazing looks. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, how how can you ignore that? How can you look at this car and just ignore it? looks breathtaking extremely modern and beautiful to look at yeah and I, I still love that van i'm not saying this is better than the van but i still love that van classic looks and this is extreme modern looks so it's up to you in the vote do you like the classic vote do you, do you, do you like the classic looks with that mac uh, mac 10 or do you like the extreme modern look with this car the uh, the my cx uh, what it's crooks crooks sorry so, this thing looks like a, a typical family, you know, Korean family car, like Hyundai. And it says Eco, Crooks Eco, 1.4 liter turbo. But no, that's not the, the case here because I'm not kidding. This thing, the Myzeed Crooks, has, uh, <clears throat> I'm not kidding, the McLaren V10 engine from the legendary McLaren Senna, the, uh, the Senna supercar. 
And as we all know, the Senna supercar, the McLaren Senna, is a, is a legendary supercar, or I don't know, maybe maybe it's a hypercar that was named after the legendary Brazilian uh, F1 racing driver, uh, Ayrton Senna. I hope I'm, pro I'm pronouncing his name correctly. And this engine is producing 788 horsepower. Yes, my friends, a car that looks like an Eco family sedan, and this thing has 788 horsepower, scoring 334.4 total category points. How can you beat that? How can you beat the looks and the performance? Let's see how this legendary engine will cope. I think this thing has, yeah, traction control. It's off. Wow. 788 horsepower shoot you to the finish line 10.6 goodness all right my friends so as you have as you have seen the my z has dominated the quarter mile time with its amazing 10 point i don't know 10.6 time which was absolutely amazing and of course that uh, mark 10 that Mark 10, of course, van, uh, of course, looks absolutely tremendous with its amazing, amazing details and amazing looks and, of course, amazing engine and performance. It's not bad, really, when it, in its performance. So congratulations, both of you, to the MyZed creator and, of course, to the Mark 10 creator. I mean, the MyZed, I, I, I really suspected this thing will be the prettiest car and that's it. I mean, I know the whole, I knew the horsepower of it, but I, I really, I'm... I really wasn't really sure about this thing being the fastest car, but so when this thing crushed all the times, it was absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that. I mean, no one will ever suspect this thing will be the fastest car on, on the drag strip. I mean, you, you can turn up with this car against muscle cars, supercharged V8s, and people will just laugh at you for coming down on the quarter mile with a rental car. And when you just fly off the line, or, you know, and you know, leaving everyone behind you, this thing will just dominate absolutely everything. Congratulations to the MyZit creator and of course to the Mark 10 creator for winning the Hollywood LS9, LS9 swap, uh, as you can see, vehicle. Congratulations, my friend. Enjoy it, have fun with it, and of course, uh, drift it. And of course, I would love to see some pictures and screenshots when, of course, drive it. Congratulations, my friend. You are one of the best creators in this challenge and of course better luck next time to all the other creators for you know that got that their cars got disqualified or you know their cars were a little bit slower than usual but really really nice work to everyone that has participated and, and of course big thanks to everyone that has participated in this challenge and of course spent their time searching for engines and creating them and making them and making sure that they are as perfect as possible as the real ones very very nice work everyone I really, really hope that you enjoyed this challenge. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this challenge. I will be seeing you soon with more, uh, of course, challenges and, of course, for the for the vote for the next challenge. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up, get subscribed, share the video if you want to share it, and of course, let's celebrate with a bit of a of a burnout from this amazing van because I'm gonna take this van home with me because I sure do love it. Look at that. It's rear-wheel drive, by the way. Check out my Patreon page, the link in the description below, if you want to download the Hollywood LS9 uh, v car to your BMG.Thrive game so you can enjoy it. And of course, the, we have t-shirts, we have aprons, if you want to download them, uh, sorry, if, so if you want to purchase them, and of course, show your love and support for the channel everywhere. I really, really love to drive this thing. Look at that, just beautiful really really awesome work so thank you so much guys for watching i will see you very very soon and congratulations for the winner so don't forget to watch my previous videos over here get subscribed over here and i will see you very very soon with more videos and more challenges and more crazy things and goodbye for now my friends